welcome to the summary of the rover. I will be walking through the plot of this play, so let's get started. <coughs> Everybody wants to bang each other. Alright, unfortunately, as accurate as that description was, this video does need to be like five minutes long or something, so uh, buckle up, get your snacks, and cancel any and all appointments because this play's a doozy. It does not end. Alright, here we go. Four score and like 300 years ago, there was a fair maiden named Florinda. Florinda is in love with a man named Belleville, but Belleville is poor, so we all know how that'll work out. We begin the story seeing Florinda complaining about her woes to her sister, Helena. Now, Helena is on her way to becoming a nun, but she's quickly losing interest because, as she states, it is the job of people their age to love and be loved, and nuns can't do that. Very poetic, Helena. Enter Don Pedro, Florinda's brother. Now, he states that he wishes Florinda to marry Don Antonio because he is rich, he is his friend, and being married for love had not been invented yet. Don Pedro leaves them in company of Callis, the girl's governess, to prevent them from going to the carnival. But they are soon joined by their cousin Valeria, and they all scheme together to go to the carnival, so that is what they do. Cut to Belleville, Florinda's love interest, who is lamenting about his inability to marry her to Frederick, a kind of useless character who doesn't do much, but he's kind of cool, and Ned Blunt, who is a bit of a weirdo. They are soon joined by Wilmore, who is also known as the Rover, which happens to be the name of the play. And this guy, this guy is the horniest motherfucker on the planet. This guy is such a piece of shit character, it's ridiculous. He's a weird character trait where people just like fall in love with him after five minutes of meeting him, which is kind of awesome, but like other than that, he's horrible. After a bit of good bantering with the boys, they run into none other than the masked girls from the beginning. Quick side note, by the way, if you wear a mask in this universe, nobody knows who you are, and that's a huge plot device, so just remember that. Back to the story at hand, a few things happen when these groups meet. First of all, Helena sees Wilmore. She goes over to him to tell his fortune, uh, which basically means she starts flirting with him. They both fall in love, and he tells her that he will never love another woman, which he tends to say a lot, as you will soon find out. Florinda notices Belleville, goes over to him, starts telling him his fortune, and hands him a note that tells him to meet her at the garden later that night to carry her off. While this is happening, a prostitute named Lucetta notices Ned Blunt, who looks very wealthy, and she tells her pimp that she's going to rob him blind. So she saunters on over to Ned, starts seducing him, and he totally falls for it because he is a moron. Ned goes home with Lucetta, and then Don Pedro walks by, scares off all the girls, which gives Belleville a chance to read the note and realize what the hell just happened. After this all occurs, Belleville begs his friends to help him rescue Florinda. They all realize Ned Blunt had all of their money, and Frederick informs them of a new courtesan in town by the name of Angelica. So they make their way over to see her, and they run into none other than Ned Blunt. He gives them back their money, which instantly solves that problem, and he tells them about Lucetta and how they are in love. All the other guys laugh at this notion, but Ned Blunt's super cool about it and is like, don't worry guys, I'm totally not going to get robbed. They finally make it to town, where they see posters of Angelica hung everywhere, and they realize that she is quite pricey, costing 100,000 crowns a month. Don Pedro enters, realizes he has that much money, and quickly runs off to get it. At this point, Angelica enters, surrounded by guards, as well as Don Antonio, who is wearing a mask and has guards of his own. Don Pedro re-enters, wearing a mask of his own, and overhears Don Antonio wondering aloud if he could get away with sleeping with Angelica and still marrying Florinda. As you may remember, Don Antonio is the one who's supposed to marry Florinda, which is Don Pedro's sister. Angelica now approaches Don Antonio, who removes his mask to greet her, which confirms his identity to Don Pedro, which pisses him off to no end as he's now heard his friend disrespect his sister and get in his way of purchasing Angelica. This naturally ensues in a duel, and the Englishmen step in and are like, guys, guys, chill, please. And they break it up. So Don Pedro is like, fine, but we duel tomorrow, not for Angelica, but for Florinda. And Don Antonio is like, okay, and Don Pedro dips. Wilmore suddenly takes interest in a picture on the wall and decides to just take it, as you do. Don Antonio finds this very disrespectful, challenges him to a duel, and the Englishmen beat him off. That sounded wrong. The Englishmen defeat Don Antonio in the duel, and this makes Angelica angry as she has just lost both of her potential customers. So, she summons Wilmore inside to answer for his disturbances. Inside, Wilmore berates Angelica for putting a price on love, and tries to convince her to sleep with him for free, and she falls for it, and they fall in love, and go to the bedroom to wrestle or something. Cut to the girls who are entering the street as Helena is looking for Wilmore. Valeria admits that she has feelings for Frederick, and then they see the men coming, so they hide. The men re-enter, verbally concerned for Wilmore's fate, until Wilmore triumphantly re-enters, boasting the large amount of money that he got from Angelica. He states that he never wants to love another woman again, and then immediately starts flirting with Helena when she leaves hiding. Helena removes her mask, revealing her true beauty, which blows Wilmore away, and Angelica re-enters, gets extremely jealous for good reason, and orders a guard to follow Helena and find out her identity. A servant of Lucette's comes to grab Ned Blunt, and I'm sure you can see where that's going. Frederick begins to court Valeria, and a disguised Florinda tests Belleville's loyalty by trying to give him a locket. 
He initially refuses, but is eventually pushed into submission by Frederick. After the girls leave, he opens the locket, sees a picture of Florinda, and realizes he's been talking to his loved one this whole time, and vows to rescue her that afternoon. In the meanwhile, Ned Blunt enters Lucette's house, prepares to sleep with her by getting undressed and leaving all of his valuables on the floor. Then the lights go out and he gets thrown out of a window. Now if you're concerned for our little Ned's safety, don't worry too much because he does fall in some water. And then he, like, crawls out of a sewer and, like, claims vengeance on all of womankind, which is kind of a weird move, but, like, I guess, I don't know. Cut to Florinda, she is waiting in the garden for Belleville, but it's not Belleville who shows up, it's Wilmore, and he's absolutely blasted. So Wilmore, being the piece of shit that he is, tries to rape her. So Florinda is like, hey, please don't rape me. So Wilmore starts like gaslighting her. He's like, whoa, whoa, whoa I wasn't going to rape you. Why would you say that? So then he offers like money because he didn't, I don't know. So Belleville finally shows up and he's pretty fucking mad because Wilmore is trying to rape his soon-to-be fiance. All this commotion attracts Don Pedro and he brings along some guards, which causes Florinda to flee and the other two follow suit. So Belleville follows Wilmore into town and he's still very mad, so he just keeps challenging Wilmore to a duel and Wilmore's like, no. Then Don Antonio shows up claiming he just purchased Angelica. And this pisses Wilmore off, so he just attacks Don and Antonio and then leaves. Like, just, <laughs> just fucking walks away. So Belleville checks on him like a decent human being, and then a bunch of soldiers show up, which is not looking great for Belleville. And to make matters worse, Don Antonio revives himself from death and mistakes Belleville for Don Pedro and Wilmore, the two people that attacked him earlier that day. So he gets carried away to Don Antonio's house. So Belleville finds himself fearing for his life in Don Antonio's basement. And Don Antonio walks in and he's like, Ah, I got a sword. Here, I want you to have it. He explains to Belleville that because of the attack, whether it was Belleville or not, he's not fit to fight the duel he had scheduled later that day. He wants Belleville to fight for him, and Belleville realizes he's talking to the man who's supposed to marry his lover, gets very angry, and then realizes he doesn't have much of a choice, so he agrees to do it. Sorinda is the first to show up at the duel grounds, and she learns it's about her, so she gets very upset. Don Pedro shows up first, and then Belleville disguises Don Antonio. They fight, and Belleville kicks his ass. Fearing for her brother's life, Florinda steps in between them and asks them to stop fighting immediately. Belleville does this because he is Florinda's lover, and Don Pedro takes this as a sign as reinstated love for Florinda from Don Antonio. Unfortunately, Belleville's friends re-enter and blow his cover, so Don Pedro takes Florinda and leaves. Still being mad, Belleville pulls his sword on Wilmore, who flees. Wilmore runs directly into Angelica, who informs him that she knows about Helena, who she also knows is a noble. Wilmore is thrilled to find out that his gypsy is wealthy, and lo and behold, enter Helena, who is dressed as a page boy trying to trick Angelica into saying that she is sent by a noblewoman who loves Wilmore. Wilmore tries to inquire more, thinking there's a third woman that loves him, discovers Helena's identity, and then insults them both by laughing at the fact that Angelica is jealous of a gypsy. Florinda reconvenes with Valeria, and the men show up, and she is harassed by Wilmore because he's an asshole, so she runs away. Frederick shows up to tell them that their friend Ned Blunt is still alive and well. And guess who Florinda runs into? Unfortunately for her, Ned Blunt has gone a little crazy after declaring war on all of womankind, so he tries to rape her. Frederick shows up, Ned Blunt asks for his help, but Florinda stops them and gives him a ring, claiming she is of noble birth. So they decide to lock her away until they can prove if it's true or not. The other boys break down the door and barge in, and Ned fills them in on what's going on. Belleville recognizes the ring and realizes that Florinda's in trouble. They all finally decide that whoever has the longest sword will get to go in to see her first. So Don Pedro got first dibs. He brings her out, but Valeria enters just in time to distract him by telling him that Florinda has gone missing, despite the fact that she's standing right behind him. So Florinda comes over, takes off her mask, and shows her true face to everyone. They all ask for her forgiveness, and she gives it to them for whatever reason, because I guess women didn't have rights yet. And she agrees to marry Belleville. Frederick and Valeria didn't want to miss out on the fun, so they decide to get married too. And conveniently, a priest walks through the door at that moment, for whatever reason. Uh, I guess it really was meant to be. So they all left to get married, and Ned Blunt leaves to get some fancy clothes, leaving Wilmore on guard duty. This leaves a perfect time for Angelica to enter, and she pulls up with the fucking strap, like she has a gun! So she claims she has to kill Wilmore for all of womankind, which is the second time character in this play has made a super large overarching umbrella statement in the name of a woman. Then Don Antonio shows up and he offers to kill him for her, but he's like, nah, merciful, not today. Don Pedro shows up and tells off Don Antonio for being disrespectful to his sister, which is a very ballsy thing to do to a man with a gun. But nothing happens, so Don Pedro just wonders what he should do about Belleville and Florinda. Wilmore informs him that they're already married and that if he tries to do anything about it, he'll kidnap him. 
So Don Pedro just kind of lets it slide, not that he had much of a choice. So Belleville enters, Don Pedro congratulates him, and they leave to go say hello to everyone. And then Helena enters, and after some conversation, they decide to tell each other their names, because they didn't do that yet. And then they decide to get married, because pff, why not at this point? And they all round it up with one big happy party. Which finally brings us to the end. Finally. Until Act 3046, we're about halfway through the story. The year is 2066. We're on the moon. Wilmore's trying to marry a giraffe. And when he 